Welcome back. So here is what we have so far. I want to talk a bit in this video. I'm going to make it really short. It's not going to actually be a tutorial on this one, just a little talking point. So when we're making game assets, there's uh, most of you are familiar with the concept of baking. You have to bake the high poly detail onto a low poly mesh for optimization purposes. Now, what a lot of people do is they make the low poly and then build upon the low poly and it's basically finished, right? They build upon the low poly and the bakes are already in ex the exact place you want it to be. So for example, um, if I wanted to add detail here, pretend this was the low poly, right? And we were done with it. What I could do is duplicate it and start work on the high poly. So, you know, make some notches here in the side, kind of like this, right? And you could basically do that up until your high poly is completely detailed. Now there's one issue I have with it, one gripe, and that is the fact that if I start building upon my low poly, I can't make any additional big um, big design changes. So for example, if this was our low poly and we knew this was the exact form we wanted, we had no intention of changing the form at all, all we wanted to do was add in detail, then we'd be fine, it would actually be a bit more efficient. But let's say I have my high poly, right? I start detailing my high poly, I do something like this and then maybe make a little notch in the top like that and I decide later on you know what I want to add an additional piece down here like a big additional change so maybe I wanted to I don't know slice this area off to make it a bit different obviously we wouldn't be doing this but as an example if I make any major topology changes like this on the high poly now I have to do the exact same thing to the low poly otherwise we're not going to be able to bake properly. The mesh has to be close to identical except for the details on the high poly if we want to get a good bake. So that's the gripe I have with the low poly to high poly workflow. I actually prefer going from high poly to low poly so that way once the high poly is done I 100% know I'm dedicated to that model. I have no intention of changing. I work until I'm completely done with the model and then I can go ahead and work on decimating it and making it more of a low poly mesh for the game. Now there isn't a right or wrong here. I simply prefer to work and work and work until my high poly is done and then decimate that down to a low poly. And there's a lot of cool techniques we can use to easily get to the low poly, especially if we're working non-destructively, all we'd have to do is delete out the booleans and then all those details are gone. If this was a bit confusing, no worries. In summary, we're gonna make the high poly, bring it down to the low poly, bake, and then we'll be done.